Happy Wednesday from the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. Today makes the day that it looks like Hurricane Debbie is officially a thing of the past. It's a beautiful morning outside right now. It is a little cloudy at the moment, but if you want to believe the weather forecast, we're supposed to have the sun break around 830 and it's supposed to be sunny and in the mid 80s all day long. I just came back from my morning walk along the beach. The temperature was nice. The cloudiness actually made it cooler. And we had a nice breeze coming off the water. I had a great walk. Then I read my morning newspaper. I really like reading the Today in History section. I got a kick out of seeing some of the things that are there, especially when they're things from you know 1990 on. I actually remember when they happened. But Today in History on July 7th, back in 1954, just shows us how much Duval Street and Key West has changed. The Key West police chief orchestrated a raid on the Cabana Club and the Preview Lounge, both on Duval Street, and arrested two women for stripping and arrested the bar managers for allowing public nudity. He was quoted as saying, I want a clean town. Boy, if he could only see Duval Street now, we have... Two strip clubs right on Duval Street, one male, one male strippers and one female strippers. And then we have another one on Truman on the way into Duval Street. Then just imagine if the chief who wanted a clean town could ever live to see Fantasy Fest. This is my morning market MLS update video I do every day right about this same time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys that have come on the market in the last 24 hours. If you watch this video every day, you'll be ahead of most buyers. I find most buyers will wait for home to come on to Trulia or Realtor.com or Zillow or one of those sites before they inquire about it. And the problem they run into oftentimes is by the time one of those sites puts a home live online, it's been on the multiple listing service a couple days and all the good deals are already under contract. But if you watch this video and you see something you like, call me right away. I'll make an appointment for us to go see the property or... If you're not here locally in Key West, which is the case oftentimes, I'll go do a walkthrough on your behalf and we can either do a FaceTime video or a live video chat or I'll do a video and then post it here on my new YouTube channel for a couple of minutes for you to watch and then I'll take it down so that way only you see it and nobody else steals it out from under you. If you like what you see, we can write up an offer and have you under contract before most buyers ever even knew the home was available for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these listings, including photographs, if you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. I'll put that web address in the description down below. The blog has a lot more information on the homes, a lot more details, any unique features the home might have, anything special about the property. It'll have descriptions of the different room uses, room dimensions, photos of the inside, photos of the outside. If there happens to be a pool, there'll be photos of the pool. If it happens to be waterfront, there'll be photos of the water view, photos of the boat dockage. It's just a lot more information than I can cram into a couple minute YouTube video. Again, that web address is keywestinvesting.com. If you like this video, please let me know. Click that thumbs up and like symbol down below. And if you want to see more videos of this nature and see what's being listed in the Florida Keys at what price, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a video just like this every morning. Today we have five new listings to talk about. And surprisingly, they're all very appropriately priced. Great properties. There's not, nothing overpriced. It almost feels weird. I don't have a property to make fun of today, but they're all great properties. Before I tell you about these homes, the state of Florida makes me cover the legal boring stuff though. The information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys multiple listing service. I'm not accepting any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings to be my own listings. And I'm not accepting any responsibility if there's any inaccuracies in the information I give you. I'm simply reading it to you right from the Florida Keys multiple listing service. The first house we have is a three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,456 square foot house in a neighborhood in Key West called The Meadows. This house has a very big backyard and a nice pool. 
The Meadows is one of my favorite subdivisions. It's just on the outside of downtown. So you're close enough to Duval Street that you can walk or you could easily take a bicycle, but you're far enough away that it's quiet. You don't have tourists driving around staring at your house. You don't find beer cans in your front yard every morning. You don't look outside at night and find drunks peeing in your bushes. It's a very quiet neighborhood, but close to Duval Street. The majority of the residents are year-round residents, or if they're seasonal residents, they're snowbirds that actually come down and use their own home for the entire winter. You have very few transient round vacation rentals in the meadows. This one is being offered at $2,085,000, which is an excellent price for a house this size with a pool in the meadows. I do, however, feel it's necessary to mention that there's no parking, no off-street parking at this house, only because if you watch my videos regularly, you know parking is a big thing with me. However, in the Meadows, I'm not nearly as concerned with it as I am with Old Town. I've been over to the Meadows you know, hundreds upon hundreds of times, and I've never once had a problem finding a parking space on the street right in front of the house I was going to visit or you know, within a house or two down from it. Being all year-round residents, most of the neighbors over there kind of respect each other's space. The, you know, I won't park in front of your house if you don't park in front of my house rule. This is a great property and worth taking a look at at that price. Again, it's $2,085,000. Then also in the Meadows on White Street, we have a larger home. This one's also on a larger lot. I believe it's a little over 4,100 square feet. I'm trying to go by memory. I read it earlier, but if you look at the blog, Key West Investing, it will be on there. Most lots in the Meadows are anywhere between 2,500 and 3,500 square feet. So this one's a large lot. It's also a large house. It's a four bedroom, four bathroom, 2,305 square foot house. Has an extremely large backyard, off street parking for several cars and a very nice pool in the backyard. This one's being offered at $3,595,000, which is also very pr price appropriate for a home that size with that much land in the meadows. Then we have a condo right on Duval Street in downtown. This one's in a condo complex called Duval Square. It's a two bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 1,325 square foot condo, I'm sorry. One of the things that makes this condo very unique is it has what they call a transient license, meaning you can rent it out one night at a time. You can basically run it like a hotel room, where most of Key West has a 30-day minimum rental period if you don't have the transient license. There are different types of transient license that allow for different lengths of time. In fact, we're going to cover one of those in the next listing. But this one is 100% transient license. You can rent it one night at a time. Combine that with the Duval Street location, a beautiful pool up on top of the roof so you can be in the pool overlooking Duval Street. Each unit has its own private deeded parking space under the building and it is on a combination gate so you won't have anybody getting into your parking area. Right in Duval Square, it's a little square on Duval Street, there's several nice restaurants there and you're on the higher end of Duval Street. So you have a lot of the fine dining restaurants, the art galleries, some nice bars, a nice jazz bar there. And then if you do want to go into the craziness and the nightlife, it's just a short walk a few blocks down Duval Street to the Sloppy Joe's Margaritaville tourist attraction areas. This one's being offered at $1,900,000, which is a very good price for a property right on Duval Street with that transient license. Then we go to Stock Island to a, sub a condo complex or a townhome complex actually called Coral Hammock. This is on Coral Way. Anyone that was in the Keys from the mid 90s before probably remembers the bar on Stock Island, Free Beer Tomorrow. That was the Coral Shores Bar. This is, the, this is Coral Hammock that was built on the property where the Coral Shores Bar was located. They had that sign there every day, free beer tomorrow, and I kept going back tomorrow, but I never did get my free beer. This one is a three-bedroom, three-bathroom townhouse. It's 1,420 square foot. I've been in this model several times. The one thing I really like about this particular floor plan and model is one of the bedrooms and one full bathroom is on the first floor, which makes it an ideal house if you want to have your privacy, if you have your 
adult children, a great house to also have company and give them their privacy. And as a rental home, this one also has a transient license. This transient license, though, as we mentioned with the ones before, is a three-day transient license, where the Duval Street property is a one-day blanket transient license. You can rent this property in three-day intervals. Being on Stock Island, it's in unincorporated Monroe County, not in the city of Key West. Unincorporated Monroe County's minimum rental period by law is 28 days without this transient license. I have a friend of mine, and I actually sold an identical unit to this one. Same floor plan, same size, same everything. He rents it out as a vacation rental, and his biggest problem is he can't keep it empty. He always has people calling, and he's turning people away. These things are rental powerhouses. People traveling with families love these because you're off Key West, away from the bar scene. But if you do want to go downtown, it's only about a 5 to 10-minute car ride. You're about a five-minute ride to Smathers Beach, which is the largest public beach in Key West. There's several restaurants in Stock Island, raining, ranging from bar food to high-end luxury fine dining to fast food and everything in between. This one's being offered at $1,199,000, which is an excellent price for that location, especially with that transient license. Then we go up to Big Pine Key. There's a three-bedroom, three-bathroom, 1,789-square-foot house. This is in a subdivision called Pine Channel Estates. It's on Ranger Ave. Pine Channel Estates is one of the more sought-after, desirable subdivisions in Big Pine, or even one of the more popular ones in the Lower Keys due to the boating. You have deep water boating, a deeper canal, deeper controlling depth getting in and out of the canal. In this particular home, you're about a two-minute canal ride into the open channel. You're right in Pine Channel, which is a deep water channel. If you could go to the right and go out to the back country for some, some island hopping or flats fishing or just a day on, you know, hanging out in the island beach in the boat on one of the sandbars out there and having a picnic. Or if you go to the left to go offshore, you go right under the bridge and you're in Newfound Harbor, which is one of the deepest and widest boating channels in all of the lower keys. From this house out to Lou Key Reef, which is one of the best reefs we have, or the best sections of the reef. There's only one reef that runs the whole length of the keys. But the best sections of the reef we have is Lou Key for snorkeling or diving, right out to American Shoal to do some bottom fishing, or if you want to go offshore, you have a great shot offshore right through Newfound Harbor and you're in the open ocean. This one's being offered at $1,599,000. It has 75 foot of concrete dock. That's a great price for a house of this nature, this size, with this much dockage in Pine Channel Estates. And that's all we have for today. If you want to take a look at any of these homes or any home anywhere in the Florida Keys, give me a call at 305-731-0501. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to showing you homes in the fabulous Florida Keys. And most importantly, I look forward to making you my neighbor. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty.